All right, how about this? James Harden leaves Houston. James Harden leaves Brooklyn. Mm. James Harden leaves Philly. Yeah. And we don't know how he's feeling right this moment about the Clippers <laughs> either, so that's all, tentative. All three teams are out to good starts. Yeah, re really good call. And the Houston Rockets are an interesting one because Ime Yudoka is their head coach. They made a couple of good moves. They brought, first of all, an experienced head coach, number one, but you bring in Dylan Brooks, who's a defensive-minded guy who I think the way that they blamed everything that happened in Memphis on him is an absolute joke, but also Fred Van Vliet, who's won a championship with the Toronto Raptors. So I think it's more of an adult program that they have there right now in Houston. That's why they've gotten off to a good start, but also for the Philadelphia 76ers, Nick Nurse. Now, their schedule early on wasn't great, so everybody said, well, who have they beaten? Then look what they did the other night. They beat the Boston Celtics. Embiid still playing at MVP level, but Tyrese Maxey, that's the guy. The guy that replaced James Harden plays a lot faster, plays with joy on his face. Believe it or not, he's actually happy to be out there, <laughs> and he's played really well. All right, you mentioned Memphis. They're off to a very slow yeah. start. Is this the beginning of the end before Ja comes back? Yeah, I know. Maybe that's why Ja Morant should be second in the MVP voting because they clearly cannot win without the guy. They're one in seven. Right now, they're losing at home to Utah. I don't know what the problem is. I mean, Marcus Smart, they, they added him. I, ja Morant being out is a big part of it, but Steven Adams suffering that knee injury. He's done for the season. He's kind of a glue player, gives you something on defense and can rebound. So the big one is the loss of Ja Morant, but also so don't rule out Steven Adams, how important that has been. All right, and let's move on to the Lakers for our last topic here. I know it's extremely early on in the season. Yeah. They have a late game tonight. Are the Lakers in trouble early I on? Don't, I don't think yet. By the way, uh, LeBron's museum opens in Akron November 25th. I expect you to be there for the opening. Um, what the problem is, Anthony Davis is still not the guy. So LeBron James, after all these years in the league, all the minutes, all the games, and I think this is part of him being frustrated, he looks at it as not only do I have to play a lot, I have to still be the best guy on our team for us to have a winning record. So if they're not, if LeBron misses 10 games this year, how are they going to do in those 10 games? And so guess what? By the end of the year, they could be in the play-in tournament once again. And that kind of wears LeBron out as the playoffs go on. It's incredible that after all these years, he's still the best player in the Lakers. They need Anthony Davis to be on the Lakers. But to be good, you got to be out there playing. What does Charles Barkley call him? Street clothes? <laughs> that's, a, that's a problem. He doesn't play enough.